Speaking to the media after attending a TV Al Hijra program, Azizan said this includes the commission's decision to fix polling day on a Wednesday, which is not uncommon. He said there were no legal provisions which requires polling day to be held only on weekends, and the EC itself has took into account various factors before deciding on the date. And voters should be the one to be blamed as not taking the initiative to ensure that they are able to vote in the constituency they live in. Ini tanggung jawab kita kepada negara dalam mungkin lima tahun sekali sahaja. Kan? Jadi itu kita kena ambil, ambil tanggungjawab. Sebab tu kita ambil lihat pengundian ni sebagai satu tanggungjawab kita. Saya tak nampak yang hari Rabu itu sebagai satu masalah yang besar. Yang penting ialah kita keluar mengundi. Kalau kita memang tak nak mengundi, eh, buatlah hari apa pun. Tak akan ada orang keluar. He said the most important thing was for the people to be aware of their responsibility as voters and for the party machinery to persuade voters staying outside the respective polling areas to return and exercise their rights. GE14 has also underscored the importance of changing one's voting address to where one is currently residing. Meanwhile, Azizan said it was not fair to say that the EC is the mouthpiece or tool of the Barisan national government as it has been an independent, impartial and professional body as intended by the constitution. Kalau kita tengok dalam pelbagaan pun kata orang yang dilantik oleh SPR ni ada orang-orang yang berwiwawa. Dia mesti uh, tidak boleh terlibat langsung di dalam uh, pegangan uh, uh, politik, dalam pegangan uh, companies, shares. Tak ada langsung. Alih-alih SPR adalah orang yang tidak memegang langsung kepentingan-kepentingan dalam mana-mana organisasi uh, uh, berpendapatan. Jadi memang mereka menjalankan tugas mengikut undang-undang yang ditetapkan dan hanya hanya bertanggungjawab kepada yang dipertuan agung In line with the announcement of May 9th as public holiday, he reminded employers who continue to have their operations on polling day that they were required to give ample time to the working voters to go out and cast their ballots. Those who deny their employees rights could be fined up to 5000 ringgit or 1 year imprisonment. Продолжение следует...